Cows are a big part of our diet in the U.S. Americans eat billions of pounds of beef each year. And cows, well, they burp a lot. And those burps are mostly methane, which is a greenhouse gas 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide. According to 2019 data from the Environmental Protection Agency, the United States emitted 6.6 .6 billion metric tons of greenhouse gases that year. Methane accounts for about 10% of those emissions, according to the EPA. While it's the second most prevalent greenhouse gas behind carbon dioxide, it's much better at trapping heat in the atmosphere. Climate scientists say methane emissions, in addition to carbon dioxide emissions, need to be dramatically reduced to prevent catastrophic warming. At the United Nations Climate Change Summit in Glasgow, over 100 countries agreed to reduce methane emissions by 30% by 2030. Cattle are blamed for being a large contributor of methane emissions, along with oil and gas mining and landfills. So let's verify. Are cattle one of the top sources of methane emissions in the U.S.? Our sources are the Environmental Protection Agency, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and Hermias Kerba, Associate Dean at UC Davis College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences and Director of the World Food Center. Methane is produced as part of normal digestive processes in animals, but cows and other animals like sheep, goats, and buffalo have stomachs with four compartments instead of one. And as a result, they produce more methane as a byproduct of their unique digestive process. There are two main ways that cattle produce methane. One is burping, the other is poop. In the United States, greenhouse gas emissions are monitored by the EPA. Out of all U.S. methane emissions, livestock account for 37%. Among all livestock, cows are responsible for 86.2% of methane emissions, about two-thirds of which are burps. When we account for methane from cow burps and cow manure, cows account for 31.5% of all methane emissions in the U.S., making them the number one source of methane emissions. In second place is natural gas production at 23.9%, according to EPA data. Other sources of methane include landfills and wastewater treatment. So we can verify, yes cattle are the top source of methane emissions in the U.S. Since eliminating all cattle isn't realistic, animal and environmental researchers are looking for other ways to reduce their methane emissions. To do that, they're getting to the heart of the issue, or should I say stomach. About 70% of methane, you can, you can just account it for by just looking at how much they're eating. Scientist Hermias Kerba studies the impact of agriculture on greenhouse gas emissions. By changing what cows eat, Kerba and other researchers at UC Davis have found emissions can be dramatically reduced. The most promising research comes from an unlikely source, the sea. We're using different feed additives. Seaweed, for example, where we've been working on here, we saw a, a reduction up to 80% uh, of, of the emissions that the animals are burping out. But he warns the active ingredient in seaweed responsible for reducing methane emission in cattle is bromoform, which isn't potent enough to be considered a greenhouse gas, but does have global warming potential. It might have an impact on ozone layer. So we have to make sure that the production of seaweed, when you scale up, we have to make sure that this bromoform is not released into the atmosphere. Nevertheless, emissions from cattle are one of the largest sources of methane in the U.S., and reducing that output will help meet climate goals. And when looking at total greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. across all industries and sources, methane from cows represents 3.2% of all emissions. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Day-Till.